Last time I saw Bones, I was playing a game of dominoes. Hey Power Director peeps, it's Saturday, so you know what time it is. I'm going to show you how to do the x-ray effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you think the x-ray effect is going to help your viewers get the inside scoop on what's going down, I want you to put hashtag x-ray effect in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director. The x-ray effect is a cool effect that uses the chroma key to make it look like your phone can do x-rays. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the x-ray effect for your videos. Let's take a look at what it's going to look like. Let's get radiation ready. The first thing that you need is a picture that's all green and you want to place that picture on your phone. Now you can get the picture online using your phone and just leave it on your phone or you can create one using Power Director and then import it to your phone. So I'm going to show you how to make one right now. First thing you want to do is go up to the media content drop down. You want to click on that and you want to go to color boards. Once you click on that, you'll see a screen with all these beautiful color boards in front of your face. But the next thing that you want to do is click on create a new color board. And you want to select from color selector. Now this beautiful little screen pops up and you want to go down to your RGB values and you want to change the green value to 255 and that should create a pure green photo. Now you want to go ahead and click on OK. And then you want to go ahead and drag the green clip that you created down into the timeline. I'm going to left click on it, hold down my mouse and drag this down to the timeline. And the playhead should go right to the beginning of it. And at this point, you want to go ahead and click on the snapshot button. When you click on the snapshot button, it'll create a JPEG of the image. You can name it whatever you want to name it. And you can select where it will be on your computer. That way you know where to go to grab it and put it onto your phone. Once you go ahead and name it what you want and select the place where you want it to go, go ahead and click on save. And it will save a picture, a JPEG picture to your device and even add it to your media library. We're not going to need this anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I'm going to click on the trash bin to get rid of it. Now, you need to do whatever it is that you need to do to get your picture onto your phone. And then you want to shoot your footage acting like you're using your phone to x-ray something, whatever it is that you're x-raying. Um, I x-rayed my hand and here's what that footage looks like. Now, once you go ahead and record your footage, you want to place it on track two of your timeline. So as you can see, I have my footage already on track two, ready to go. For the x-ray or the skeleton, whatever you want to call it, I have a hand that I got for free at pixabay.com. The link to this hand is in the video description. So what you want to do is drag that footage of the hand down into the timeline on track one. And you want to drag it to the beginning of the timeline. And then you want to drag the end of it out so that it's the same length as the whole duration of your clip. What you want to do at this point is line up the x-ray of the hand to your real hand. So you can place your playhead somewhere on the timeline, wherever you need to place it, that's good to go so that you can see your hand on the screen. And then what you want to do is you want to either double click on the footage of the hand or you can left click it, go to designer and go to PIP designer. Now, once you're here, you just see the hand overlaid over the footage, but you want to be able to see both of them at the same time. So you want to go down to the opacity setting and you want to change that to 50% or whatever you like and hit enter. And now I can see 
the x-ray and I can see my footage behind it. So it makes it easier to line things up. Now, if you filmed your hand the other way around and you need to flip your hand around before you resize it, just go down to the section here where it says flip. You can enable the flip. It'll flip it the wrong way. But if you open it up, you have the option to change it to left to right. You click on that and then it flips it and points the thumb in the other direction. I don't need that. So I'm going to uncheck flip and I'm good to go. Just showing you how to do it in case you needed to do that. So now you want to resize the hand using the node so that it fits over your hand. Now you can leave your maintain aspect ratio on or off. It depends on what you need to do, but you just use your nodes and you use this little green dot here to rotate it. You can flip it to where you need. Make sure that it is only on the screen. You don't want any part of it missing from the screen because it'll mess up your green screen. So you can place it where you need it. You know, put it exactly where you think it looks best. I'm just doing a tutorial, so I'm not going to get it to line up perfectly, but I am going to um, type in some of the parameters that I think worked out pretty well. So this is something that I'm doing for my hand. For my parameters, they may be different from what your parameters are going to be because your hand's not going to be in the exact same place as mine. And those parameters look really good how I have them. Once that's all done, you want to change your opacity back to 100% and hit enter. And you should be good to go there. So you can go ahead and click on OK. Now that that's done, you need to add the chroma key effect to your footage that you filmed with the phone. So you either want to click on it, go to designer, PIP designer, like I showed you before, or you can just double left click on it and it'll open up the PIP designer for you. At this point, you want to go down to the chroma key section and you want to enable chroma key. Then you want to go ahead and click on the eyedropper and click on the green. And you should be able to see your hand through the phone now. And you want to make the adjustments to your color range and denoise that you need to make based on your footage and how it looks. And once you get it where you want it, you want to go ahead and click on OK. Then at this point, you can add some sound. Now I got two clips. I had a clip of uh, electrical hum and a clip of uh, electrical surge that I got from digitaljuice.com. That is a subscription service. So you may need to look elsewhere unless you're willing to get a subscription. You may need to look elsewhere to get those clips. And once I got those two clips, I just used PowerDirector and created a wave file and merged them together into one clip that I call uh, X-ray sound. So you can take that clip, whatever your sound effect clip is, you want to drag it down into a, an audio track or whatever you want. And you want to make sure that you have the clip start at a position where you're actually using the X-ray. You don't want it to start before that. So I kind of dragged it forward a little bit and we can see if it works out here. See, Pretty good. And we're going to trim off the back of this so that it's not too far. Want to make it stop right where the phone leaves the screen, which is about right there. I'm going to click on this and split it. I'll left click on this and I will use the trash bin to delete it. And now if you want to right now, when the sound comes in, the sound's going to be kind of harsh. So what you probably want to do is either add some fades to the sound or use keyframes to move the sound up and down. However you want to, I'm going to go to the transition room and I'm going to go here to the audio fades or audio transitions. I'm going to use a constant gain. I'm going to drag it to the beginning of the audio and I'm going to drag another constant gain to the end of the audio. So that'll fade it in and fade it out. And now all you got to do 
is watch the rewards of all your hard work and click on play to play it back. See what it looks like. X-ray game in full effect. And that's how you make the X-ray effect in Cyberlink Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you decide that you like Power Director and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase the 365 annual subscription, you know I'm going to leave some links in the video description. Those help out the channel. They are affiliate links. Please feel free to use them if you need them. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.